Hello, this is Jeff Montoya with IDIS America. I'm the Eastern Regional Sales Director, and I'm here today to show you our 12 megapixel fisheye in a warehouse setting. First, let me go over some of the camera features that are built in. We have two versions. We have an indoor version and an outdoor version. Each are equipped similarly. You have IR illumination. You have wide dynamic range, true IR cut filter, SD card capability, microphone, so you do have a built-in microphone. There is audio connection for a amplified speaker if you choose to activate the two-way audio. The outdoor version is IK10 rated for vandal proof and IP67 for weatherproofing. So what I'd like to do today is just show you briefly some of the feature sets that are built into the camera when it comes to our dewarping capability. We do multi-side multi dewarping, which is client side, camera side, and mobile side. So if you have our fisheye on the mobile app, on our mobile app, it will dewarp uh, using your pinch features and finger on the screen to use your cursor. But today we're gonna show you this actual camera in a live setting in a warehouse. This system was commissioned about two months ago. So let's go ahead and just take a look at some of the feature sets that we have here in a live setting. So as you can see here, I already have the camera up and running. And we are looking at the warehouse doors. This particular setting was set up for this reason. Uh, they like the technology of being able to look at multiple doors and the staging area and other aspects of the warehouse from one angle. They have 228 doors in this facility. So putting up a camera for each and every door would have been uh, just way too many cameras for them to manage and handle at this point. Uh, so they decided to go ahead and use fisheye technology which allows them, as you can see, again, to see multiple doors at one time. So what I'm going to show you is the dewarping capability and some of the flexibility and the views that we have with this camera. Being that it is a single sensor fisheye camera, we use a panamorph lens as well. So the panamorph lens actually gives us better field of view and, in my opinion, a much cleaner, crisper picture. Uh, so what I'm going to do with my scroll mouse is I already have this set for dewarping. So I'm going to push forward with my scroll wheel and as you can see, the picture is going to start flattening out. And as soon as I do a single left click hold down, I can move around within the camera in its view. There's the back area. There's a forklift. There's folks working in the background over here. But with this camera, we can also do several things. I can break it down into multiple viewing panes plus a main view, which is still fully functional. As you can see, I can move the viewing panes as well. I can also come in here and make this seven panes, all again, fully featured, being able to move, zoom in and out. I can also make these panes pan, just like you would a pan tilt zoom type camera. I can take it over and then it'll go back after a few seconds, it'll go back to its dual time. I can also turn this into a panorama, panoramic camera. So at this point I can do a complete 360 I cannot zoom in and out when it's on panoramic full 360 or 180. You can only move left and right. But if you prefer to see something like a panoramic on top with four active viewing panes, you can do so as well. Now, a couple other feature sets that we have in this particular camera. Let me go to a certain setting here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this view pane, and then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to say select mode. So as you can see, this view pane now has a blue highlight around it. My main view, what I'm going to do is actually take and hold the left cursor and create the little box. And in that little box, the viewing pane will automatically zoom in on that area. So this allows me to zoom in, zoom out, move around. Anywhere on the main view screen where I put that box, it's going to highlight in this particular view pane. Now we have another feature set that a lot of our clients like to use. I'm going to turn off the selection mode and I'm going to go spot mode. Spot mode does something similar, but what it does give you is now it gives me an actual box. As you can see here, this orange box is moving around within the main view. And then the pane is seeing exactly what that uh, box is looking at. But in this instance, I can actually left click, hold down the actual viewing box and physically move it around with my mouse. I can again zoom in and zoom out with my scroll wheel. 
and I can move around. There's also an on auto flip feature in this. So as I take this through the center of the picture, you'll see it flip through and keep the picture upright. So as I come through, it flips. So it's always making sure that no matter what I'm doing, I can actually see everything upright within that picture. We can turn that spot mode off. We also have features like picture in picture. Some folks like to see the main picture in picture down here. So if I go to a full main view, this allows you to see the actual camera and then where I'm zooming in. This kind of works similar to the spot mode that I was just in, is that it just gives you a smaller field of view. You can actually take this and move it around as well on the bottom in the picture in picture. So again, it kind of gives you a spot mode. You can zoom in and out just like I did before. But this kind of gives folks an idea of where in the picture they're looking at. Uh, again, here are some feature sets that we have on the camera. We have instant playback. We have um, self-adjusting uh, video modes. We have control of the color. We have the image processing. We also have the listening capabilities. So as I said, this camera is built with a microphone. It does not come with a speaker. You can attach an amplified speaker to it if you want to use the two-way feature settings. With this camera, we can also take a look at some of the background activity of the actual camera itself. So I can come in here and hit my stream information. And this will pop up all the stream information. So this will show you live view and your recorded view sessions. So this tells you how much it's recording at. This is telling you what it's, we're looking at live at this point. This helps you out if you decide you want to adjust the frame rates or the resolution based on the stream you're recording. This camera does have three streams. So you do have multiple streams to set and view from uh, when it comes to live view and recording. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. And that's it for some of the brief features on the 12 megapixel fisheye from Idis America. Thank you.